welcome back so let's continue on our topic on mental health so like I said the last time you don't have to allow these things to break you down you don't have to allow the flashy things of life to break you down even though we know that there are so many people struggling for one thing or the other but let's be honest here even that person you think that is the most richest they have some things they are struggling about also they don't have to tell you so people are struggling with one thing or, or the other you are not alone you are not alone so begin from today to be happy happiness cures happiness repels mental health happiness can cure you all this disease relax breathe in breathe out be happy for people when you see them happy all right when you are happy for someone in the spiritual realm in the universe it shows that you appreciate what that person achieved or you appreciate what's happening to their life then universe will start plotting one-on-one -on -one and will bring your own blessings to you so it is good to be happy for people and allow it to pass then expect your own to come expecting your own doesn't mean i'm not telling you to start looking out saying when is my own going to come no what I mean by expecting your own is when you are happy for people, when they are happy, relax, move on with your life, your own will sure come. Because you've already sent the signal out that what they achieved or the reason they are happy, that you love it. And when you do that, yours will gradually start coming to you. Please, enough of people killing themselves. It's not worth it. Why would you want to kill yourself? Another thing that gets people depressed is when they are, uh, when they are partners. Maybe if their partners decide to leave them, maybe divorce case, separation, or even um, if maybe a boyfriend or girlfriend stuff and one decides to leave another, you see them falling into depression. No, please. No one in this life is worth dying for. No. I want you to know that Lord Jesus Christ died for you and for me so you are not in any position to die for anybody because when you do they will not appreciate it lord jesus has already died for you and i why would you want to die for anybody let me tell you something anybody that decides to leave you they left you not because they actually want to leave but because it is time for them to leave because god has already known that they are not the people for you they are not that person for you that you may not be happy if you are with them in the end so they are living based on how god wants it to be because if you're a child of god that god loves so much god wouldn't allow you to go into the fire god can cause them to leave and when they leave all i need you to do is to appreciate god and majority of the time when people leave is their loss not you provided you know yourself you are living an upright life and you're a good person i have seen so many good people people left it's their loss and i have seen the ones that left and started coming back and begging but unfortunately that door has closed and i want to tell you something when somebody leaves your life and are coming back again more especially in in, in, partner, in partnership of a thing like boyfriend or girlfriend you can choose to forgive but you don't have to take them back but if you must take them back these are the things you need to tell both to the Holy Spirit to take care of. If it's God's willing, all of you will come back together. But if it's not God's willing, you will know because something will happen again and they will leave. Did you see that? And when they leave a second time, coming back again, no, don't take them back. Don't take them back. That means that person is not truly for you. So when somebody leaves you next time, instead of you falling into depression that could cause your mental health to start deteriorating instead be happy they left you because they left you for a reason they left you because there is somebody so special that will treat you like a queen you deserve that will treat you with love and pamper you like a newborn baby or someone that will treat you like a king you are that will pamper you like a newborn baby with love and respect unity everything good that person is on the way so you don't have to occupy yourself crying over one that left you don't have to cry but because we are human beings if you are the type that cries easily well it's allowed but please do not extend that your tears 
get up from that seat i'm talking to you right now wipe those tears away come on girl you are better than that if you're a man watching me you are bigger than that get up from that your slumber and start living your life remember be positive in positivity there is nothing like mental issue there is nothing like mental health when you are positive and happy all the time you will know nothing of such if you have a spouse that is using you to make money i have to touch this but you know what i will leave it here and i'll be right back shortly let's delve into this one it's very important i'll see you guys <music>